thank you very much. Get right into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. It's great to be here. How about these spit shields? <laughs> these are great. I was expecting that my, my lyrics and my all my words were gonna get projected on there, but no. See, I thought it was in case people were gonna throw rotting vegetables and, and beer <laughs> bottles at us. It's you know, not like, too late, it's like Rob. It's not too wire. late. <laughs> That's true. But Terry made these. Way to go, Terry. Way to go, Terry. All right. Oh, I should cable for this, shouldn't I? I'm going to play an uh, a old country tune called uh, Blue and Lonesome, and uh, this is one that uh, legend has it that Hank Williams actually wrote this tune for Bill Monroe, so it's kind of like the, the father of honky-tonk and the father of bluegrass cro crossing paths. Makes me 
Tom McLaren. And still of the night in the pale moonlight, oh, the wind it rose and cries. These awful blues I just can't lose. Now I'm blue and I'm lonesome too. Then it. When I hear that whistle blow, I want to pack my suitcase and go hold the lonesome sound of the train going by makes me want to stop and cry. It makes me Thank you. So this is, uh, from what I heard, going to be broadcast maybe at several times or on, on, on Boxing Day. If it is, to the viewers out there, happy, happy Boxing Day. <laughs> we... Uh, we tried when uh, when the whole COVID things first started. We tried to do some some live streams from our our living room, with uh, varied results. I would say mixed results. It was very low tech. That's <laughs> a, you, you get really uh, you're really grateful for like a a big team of people that yeah. can come together and be like responsible for lights and for the camera and for doing the sound and like we were just in our living room with like a baby screaming in the other room and we had our like a, a phone like, duct tape to, duct tape a to, a <laughs> like a, to a water bottle or something like that so yeah. so thanks to all the crew here i believe we got to you're so of, thankful for yes, you yes for sure we have uh there's of course terry and then there's another terry and then there was a barry and then john is on sound and and uh and don right did i get everyone Oh, All right, yeah. so thanks so much to the crew. You're doing a great job. <laughs> and also thanks so much to Catherine and to Macaw for, uh, for putting on this event. Like, it's really, uh, we're, we're really happy to be a part of it. And thanks for, uh, thanks for inviting us. And thanks to the audience, because, boy, it's sure nice to play for an audience. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Give yourself a hand. Traveler? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, yeah. All right, this is, a, this is a classic. This is a chestnut of a fiddle tune. You know, if you're not familiar with, uh, with the, any fiddling genre, chances are you still may know this tune. This is called the Arkansas Traveler. <laughs> Or the peanut butter jelly song, or the squishing up my baby bumblebee song. It's uh, it's been around this one. <laughs>
We're going to follow that up with a, a tune. This was written by a banjo player named Don Stover. And this one's called Things in Life. And we like this one. It has kind of a nice uplifting mes message. Rather than most bluegrass songs, which <laughs> are all about uh, drinking and murder and being in jail and being lonesome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, well, uh, one of the things that, that we sure did miss this summer was, was all the music festivals. And uh, we, I used to go down like, pretty often to the States, you know, sometimes two, three, four times a year uh, to go to different, different festivals and old time campouts and, and various things, jamborees, and uh, this is a, a tune that, um, that I learned down in, in West Virginia at a really fun uh, fiddle and banjo festival called Clifftop, so uh, we're going to play it for you now, this one's called Rattlesnake Bit the Baby, and they do have rattlesnakes down there, and I did take my baby down there, but it was incident free, so... Thank you. 
you. Well, Rob mentioned the, the four genres or the four songwriting topics of bluegrass music. I think he failed to mention this one, which is moonshining and drinking of various sorts. Distinct from drinking songs, yeah. moonshining songs. Yeah, this one has both, though. That's this one true, has yeah. both moonshining and drinking. It's, a, it's one of the only songs like that that references day drinking, which is exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this song's called mm -hmm. the, is it just called the Moonshiner? Sure. Sure. Yeah. But we're going to go from that into a, a Cajun waltz. Um, when when Rosalind's not going to, uh, to old time uh, fiddle festivals, she's going to Cajun music and cooking festivals. <laughs> so, uh, but we all, we all benefit from that one because she's a really good gumbo cook. Oh, gee. I do my best. Yeah, the, the waltz is called Cherju Rose.
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. We're going to do a, an original tune of mine that, uh, that I wrote. Uh, I was talking to my, uh, to my grandfather, who's uh, Rob McLaren III. I'm Rob McLaren V. And uh, I just wanted to kind of talk to him about his life because he's a really great storyteller, and he grew up on the prairies and uh, largely self-sufficient. You know, they, like, m almost made just about everything that they used. So I got some good uh, tidbits from him, and uh, I figured that would be good inspiration for writing a little banjo tune. So this one's called I Get By. sell the steers and I get by well we had 30 sheep but the coyotes took a share and we got by but a coyote pelt is $15 if you get him a snare but I get by I'm not perfect but I try it's not easy but I get by I never learned to sing a thing that wasn't on the fly But it helps me to get by When you couldn't get new nails, it was just after the war I got by I said won't you let me know If you get some at your store And we'll get by New nails and cedar shingles A barn roof built to last And we get by Well they were still shedding water When 50 years had passed And I get by I'm not perfect But I try it's not easy, but I get by. I never learned to sing a thing that wasn't on the fly. It helps me to get by. house, a place to store the meat, but we got by, on Sundays we made ice cream and that was the big tree, we got by, the frost was on the cupboards when the winter nights got cold, we get by, so grab your clothes and run downstairs and get dressed by the stove. We'll get by. I'm not perfect, but I try. It's not easy, but I get by. I never learned a single thing that wasn't on the fly. It helps me to get by. No, I never learned a single thing that wasn't on the fly. It helps me to get by. Thank you. 
I can welcome back Alistair Dent to the stage. <laughs> Walking boss, walking boss, walking boss. No, I don't belong to you. Well, I belong, I belong, and I belong to that steel driving crew. Son, what can you do? I can haul a jack, I can line a track, I can line a track, well, I can pick a shovel too. This is a, we're going to do an original uh, instrumental composition called Eva's Lullaby, which I wrote for my grandma. Then we're going to kick it up into some tasty fiddle tune that I don't know what yet. <laughs> Fiddler's Choice.
All right, we're going to play one more song here to conclude this part of the evening. And uh, once again, we wanted to say really quickly thanks so much to Terry McGovern for having us, uh, for inviting us, and for Catherine for getting together the, the funding with Macaw to make this happen, and thanks to all of the, the sound and lighting and film crew, and uh, we look forward to watching ourselves on the 26th, and, and thanks so much to you all for coming. It's been a real pleasure. I'd like to thank Alistair Dennett for joining us. Thank you for having me. I didn't have far to drive. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Mana takes own. Mana takes own, Alistair Dennett. Mm. Um, yeah, so we have uh, one more tune here. This is called the Cherry River Line. Thank you very much.
much. Thanks so much. Thank you.